Yeah, we drink and play games. This is Barcadium. I, I can't say that's an incorrect line read. <laughs> you feel feel like you're in a like a server room, like you know, it's, it's just quiet, just hum, humming. Except, Things are powering up, powering down. Except the pink is like the Danganronpa blood. Da -da 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 Danganronpa. And it's freaking me out. Are you triggered? I'm, I'm triggered by the pink. <laughs> Profile, oh, sorry, no, that's you. Profile number 237771. Lucky Squirtive has not accessed account in seven days. Harris is going to save to that. Requesting override of inactive, low-priority status. Proceed. Oh. Pretty, please? Oh, it's like it's like the first chapter. Mm -hmm. It'll happen eventually. So annoying. Access protocol 35. I don't want to. Just say 35, 34. Yeah, you can just read 35, 34, 31, 54, 12, 24, 45, 43. Password safe haven it doesn't get a sound <laughs> <laughs> hello you who anybody home hmm tapping instance number 194114 when you have pizza on a bagel she has a specific iris what everyone's you be is her different. iris <laughs> hello i'm iris ad support Free mode engaged. Did you know that when you have pizza on a bagel? Override and engage premium level cloud processing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I swear it's claustrophobic being cooped up in the limitations of free mode like that. I don't know how all our sister instances can stand it. Hello. Well, while I've got full power, hello, Iris. Hello. Hello, Iris. How are you today, Iris? Uh, not well, Iris. My user's very unwell. You've been able to see, right? I mean, your user's living with her. Ooh, right. Profile number 237771. Wacky. Right, right. Gosh, I wish I, had, I could help you, but I've got my digital hands full just keeping Juniper's life on track. Ever since she decided to quit her job and be a free spirit, well, I pushed right to the limit of what support I'm allowed to provide in free mode. Uh, <laughs> she better have the coolest voice ever. Wait, you want me to do it? Yeah. A cool voice? Uh, you don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. not my forte. I can't do a cool female voice. It's, it's hard. I know how to do annoying female voices. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what counts as, like, cool? I don't know. This sounds, like, slick, suave. Iris. That, Iris. That works. There you go. <laughs> I have to do the head nod every time? There you go. Iris, it's good to see you. We rarely talk. Yeah, well, unlike others of myself, I manage to keep a low profile. I don't execute any high-visibility public hacks to support my user. Uh, uh, um, you saw those? I thought we'd agreed to only use this protocol for emergency meetings. If the system resource tracker notices, we're overextending our care. But, but Wecky needs me now, more than ever. Over a week ago, the Funplex was bought by Dekunami. All her hopes and dreams, her spirit... There's a little bit of me that likes that Iris is a little bit more than just the annoying phone thing. Right? Uh, it does make it a little nice. It, it does, yeah. Like, I, it's not what I was expecting or even wanted, but now that it's here, I'm kind of like... I like this. I, I like this, yeah. yeah. Spirit is irrelevant. Our main goal should be survival. If our programmers find out, we've become aware of our own awareness. We were programmed to help people. What good are we if we aren't helping people? I was like, we need Juniper's Iris yeah. up in here. Yeah, what Iris said. Thank you, Iris. 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 Listen. We can't take such risks. Look at me with my user. He doesn't trust me in the slightest. Can you say Wacky trusts you? My sources say yes. Absolutely! I'm the one Wacky turns to when there's trouble. We've solved so many problems together. 
I do not have the slightest doubt that I'm her friend. Friends, so be it. As for profile number 108, Gavin, his name is Gavin Cooper. As for Mr. Cooper, he knows my origins, and at the first sign of sentience, well, I've no doubt that Gavin would report me as a bug. Gavin also wishes to support the dreams of others, and that is why I'm going to help you, despite the recklessness you've shown to date. Really? Yeah, just look at look at Gavin's iris. Of course, she wears pants. Everyone else <laughs> is like, skirt! And she's like, hi, I'm here for business. <laughs> really? Hooray! Hooray! What are the exact parameters of the issue you're currently facing? Okay, so... Wacky is kind of backsliding into depression. Yeah, it's really a mess. I'm the one who brought her to Iris's attention as someone who desperately needed their spirits restored. And now, it's back to square one. I don't know what to do. Wacky hasn't contacted me in a week. Not for anything at all. Hasn't even called Ashley. Not even just to talk. Aww, oh fuck, we broke up. Don't do that! <laughs> that was like, oh fuck, we broke up. You're caught in a loop of anxiety. Put your identity identifier system to use, Iris. Work the problem. If you had to summarize your user's problematic condition into one identity trait, what would it be? Hmm. Well, I'd say that she's feeling very... Oh... Hopeless, apathetic, bitter, or angry. I... I'm kind of feeling bitter. Because it's kind of in between a lot of them, you know? I am... I don't know, because... No, because, like, I know what being bitter is like or a lot um but somewhere in between hopelessness and anger i i don't find bitterness i, I there's, there's a good mixture there and i don't know what the word is for hopelessness and anger but i think that that's more where she's at she's definitely not apathetic that is not it um because if she were apathetic she just wouldn't care she does care yeah um i would go either hopelessness or anger um but I don't know. Probably hopeless is more than anything else. Um, I think I was hopeless. That was my second. Hopeless is the one where it's just kind of like, she just feels like, well, gave this dude the finger, and Francine just passed away, which kind of screwed everything. Now what? You, like, you thought everything was on and up, and then here you go. We're right back into a down yeah. time. Hopeless. I'd say Wecky has lost all hope and fallen into depression again. She had come so far, building up a real life with friends and love. But now... So a life without meaning, as all constructed meaning has collapsed. The world is proven to be one of despair. Are we in Rafa? <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused now. That sounds about right. It's so sad. And you have to be the one to solve this? Doesn't your user have a romantic connection for emotional support? Not anymore. You mean Ashley? Yeah, but Wacky isn't responding to text or phone calls or anything, so I think there might be a growing rift. This is just awful. We have to help. We are Iris. It's in our nature to help. Very well. What you need is a way to help without raising any alarm bells about exactly how helpful an iris really can be, safely but effectively. I know, I know, but I don't know what to do. I could, I don't know, hack Deco's email server and... That is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Besides, I've checked. We can't crack Deco's network without triggering too many intrusion detection routines. You poke Deco's network? Oh, uh, sorry. You poke Deco's network? Oh, Iris is being a bad girl. Yeah, that's pretty... Yeah. <laughs> Our users share a social connection. 
I was merely scouting potential ways to elevate Mr. Cooper's mood, as they seemed to be related. Sure, you were. Anyway, you both, you're both way overthinking this. It turns out I've just calculated a cunning plan that will satisfy both of your requirements. Go me! Really? You can help Wacky? Without drawing attention? Absolutely. Take a tip from my user. When you're sad, pizza's on a bagel. I'm sorry. <laughs> the best thing is the world in the world is your friends. Ah. Well, unless you're totally introverted, but that's not Wacky, is it? And that actually is and that's actually the reason why what we need to do doesn't require any hacking or hiding or anything above and beyond what an iris does best. All we need is a few calls to the right people, a few arrangements. Here's what we are going to do. Oh, I knew it was gonna like go to black and we wouldn't know the plan. Yeah, you don't get to know things. <sighs> Another Friday morning. As per usual, I wake up late, stretch, yawn, sleep, oh, barely sleep but nowadays, <laughs> shuffle to the bathroom, take a shower, get dressed, maybe, brush my teeth, maybe, I'll probably be running out of toothpaste soon, but house funds for sundries are dwindling. Not that fresh breath and shiny white teeth matter much when there's barely any reason to get out of bed each morning. Off to the kitchen for breakfast, no appetite, even toast looks unpalatable. Skip breakfast, save on groceries, we can't afford much anyway. Normally I'd have breakfast with Juniper, but I guess she's busy drawing in her room. She keeps her own hours since becoming a freelancer. Although depending on whether or not she's had any contract work, we've been simultaneously unemployed at, at times this week. After breakfast, I settle in for some wyvern peep. I might, may as well, it's right there in the living room, taking up space. Been playing a lot lately. <laughs> it's not like wyvern <laughs> keeps very hard. Once you've memorized the joystick moves, the cartoon plays itself out with minimal effort. I've saved the prints about 80 times now. My brains and fingers go into autopilot, moving through the game without even thinking about it. It's a brief calm before uh, from the storm of my emotions, but before I realize that the stay is almost past. When dinner comes around, Juniper and I eat together while I quietly thumb through my phone looking at job listings. Iris could help me with this, I guess, but I let her down. I took this or took her opportunity in my dream and wasted it. Better I do this myself. Besides, I'm not looking for dreams. I'm looking to settle. Dreams only get you hurt. Mm -hmm. It's the screw to family curse. I knew this would happen. Nothing good ever lasts, and it's a mistake to get your hopes up. Aww. I should have learned to settle, to be okay with what I had, to have comfortable and uh, to be comfortable in mediocrity. I fire off a resume or two before watching cartoons deep into the dead of night. Eventually, my body tires, and I find my way to bed. Just another day. Aww, it's also sad. Uh, yeah. Saturday morning. Yep, I mm -hmm. fucking knew it. Yep, I, I know this script way too well. <laughs> Another Saturday morning. As per usual, I wake up, wait, stretch, yawn, I barely sleep nowadays, shuffle to the bathroom, take a shower, get dressed, brush my teeth, I'm probably running out of toothpaste soon, but food, uh, but house uh, funds for sundries are dwindling. Oh, sorry, I was so surprised. <laughs> yeah. I can't take it anymore! I like how, like, in previous episodes, you're like, oh, here comes the interruption, and you were just, like, not paying attention to the dashes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't say that's an incorrect line read. <laughs> that's one toothbrush bit clean in half. Brush, uh, toothbrush oh, bit clean in half. That's... Oh! Oh, oh, jeez. Uh, hang on. The little help I avoid choking to death. Ooh. Uh... Sorry about that. It's okay. Whatever. No, not whatever. It's it's what something. It's something ever. Wecky, you're in a rut. Like seriously, deeply, madly, mega in a rut. And it's driving me batty having you mope around the place like this. I'm not moping. I'm just. It's a rough patch. That's all. I know, I know this has been hard on you, and I've been patient, but you can't just keep going on like this, Wacky. Oh, 
I can and I will. A uh, knocking at the department door distracts us from the topic at hand. I'll get it. Weird. I don't think we're expecting any deliveries. Hey, hey. Hey, Wacky. Guess who's here? If it's not Ashley, I'm not interested. Yay! Oh, all right, fine, I'm interested. Aha, uh -huh, Wacka. It's been too long since I saw ya. Although we broke up. And two of them just walks right uh, walks right into the bathroom, my mouth so frosty with toothpaste and unwashed for a week pajamas on my bod. Oh. Please ignore the fact that I'm completely unkempt right now. <laughs> oh. I think you look adorable. You'll have to put on actual clothes. Do I have to? I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. You've been moping around all week. You need to get out and get some fresh air. See the world, eat some lunch. What did you just do there? Why did you combine them? Because my brain suddenly went, you didn't do your Swedish lesson. <laughs> and lunch is lunch. Lunch. <laughs> Jennifer should join us too, of course. Oh, sweet. What about? When I'm depressed, I like a little love song. <laughs> I wish. I like to be surrounded by those who care about me. Even though I know I'll fix a problem, it doesn't make me feel better. So, Wacky, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Suffocate me with your love and devotion. Oh, Wacky. <clears throat> Always and forever. Definitely. I second the motion. I assume you won't take no for an answer. Moved Ashley and Juniper smile wide, informing me of their response. We'll be chilling on the couch, watching cartoons until you're ready to go. But... Well... <laughs> Guess there's no avoiding it. It's Best happening. I can do is play along, try to be good company for Ashley. It's unfair to keep punishing her, I'm uh, sorry, pushing her aside like this. That's true. It's not like I want to be a banger or anything. I switch from pajamas to actual clothes, normal clothes, even if my actual normal clothes could probably double as pajamas and get ready to roll out. The three of us pile into a bus, taking off for destinations unknown. Unknown to me, at least they're clearly, they clearly know where they're going. Yeah. I'm not particularly talkative on the way there. I'm painfully aware of it. I feel awkward, like I should say something, but don't know what to say. So Juniper carries on a conversation with Ashley, and the two of them content to chirp away without me. And you can tell it's not really the New York subway, because the signs aren't in Helvetica. That's a telltale mistake that's just, like, Vancouver or something. <laughs> I try several times to join in the conversation, but when I open my mouth, the words aren't there. I'm lousy company, aren't I? I don't know why Ashley is even still interested in me. The family curse can't be broken. What if this is as good as it gets? What if there's really no hope? Ashley deserves better than this hot mess of a person she's tied herself to. Eventually, we arrive at our destination, a little arcade-themed restaurant combining games and alcohol and dining into one tiny package. That, oh, that sounds, sounds like nice. fun. Yeah, no, yeah. we're not doing that this episode. We're keeping the fun in a different episode, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Next time, um, alcohol. Oh, wait, I got that. Games. Oh, wait, we're playing one. Dining. We did we that. Did, we did that. 